Hello everybody again on Simply Foodie YouTube channel. Today we'll go directly uh, in practicing how to conduct a hazard analysis for both raw materials and the product contact materials. Uh, in this third lecture, we will uh, implement what we have trained ourselves in the previous video about the risk assessment control measure if it is low or medium or high. First of all, we will remember our flow diagram of the orange juice, the main example of our HACCP series. We are having three uh, main ingredients and raw materials. We are having the orange itself, we are having water in the reconstitution uh, uh, phase, and we are having the air. So you will have to draw a table with me, nine columns multiplied by eight rows to uh, have the raw materials risk assessment. The first cell will write the ingredient name, the storage condition, if it is ambient temperature, refrigerated, or even frozen. Then the potential hazard, if it is physical hazard, chemical hazard, biological hazard, and if it is vegetative uh, pathogen like the E. coli or salmonella or uh, staph or spore forming like the bacillus cereus or colostridium. Also, we are having the potential hazard of the allergen, radiation, and halal or GMO genetically modified organism. The risk assessment also will write it in this cell, then the severity multiplied by the probability or likelihood of occurrence. The outcome of the risk assessment or the result from the multiplication of the severity and probability. The significant risk if it is yes or no. Explanation and reason why and cause why it is significant or not significant and how we can say that uh, the degree of severity is 2 or 3 or the potential uh, probability also. And we can mention also the me control uh, mechanism. So. After you make this table, please write with me the example of the orange, the water and the air. Now we'll start the orange hazard risk assessment. First, we'll some kind of brainstorming about uh, with the HACCP team, all the hazards uh, that, that may be from the orange itself. The physical hazard from, will be due to the foreign materials from soil, stones or metallic objects. Pesticides, residues will be chemical hazard, biological, as I have mentioned before, maybe salmonella, listeria, shigella, cholesteridium. The allergen, the orange is not allergen, radiation is very rare, and it's not applicable to be halal or not. Okay? So, just keep in your mind the severity multiplied by the likelihood or the probability and the low risk from 1 to 4, medium risk from 5 to 10, and to high risk from 12 to 25. So let's go directly to our example. The orange, the temperature will be ambient temperature, the physical severity 2, and probability will be 4. These all numbers are according to the HACCP team agreement. The outcome will be 8, so it's not significant by why the reason to multiply by 4 because uh, the cause of uh, inappropriate condition for storage and distribution of deteriorated raw materials of the physical hazard. So it will be controlled by sorting of the orange at the receiving process and approved supplier uh, according to a food safety management system. The chemical will be 3, severity and probability 3 also. The result will be 9, not significant. The chemical hazard are due to deteriorated raw material. Also, the control mechanism will be washing or approved supplier. The biological will be 4 by 3, it will be 12, so it's significant risk. The cause of the biological vegetative uh, pathogen or spore forming will be due to increased temperature more than 8 degrees because it is uh, ambient temperature. So the pasteurization or certificate of analysis will be the control of the uh, process. The allergen would be also not significant for us. It will be result one, so it's not significant. The radiation also very rare to occur and halal, it's not applicable. So now we have done a risk assessment for the orange itself. 
So let's go to the second item, the water, because you must make risk assessment for each raw material. The water also will have the physical hazard from the extraneous matter, chemical hazard, heavy metals or pesticide residues, biological hazard, water not meeting potable uh, uh, water criteria, the allergen, it's not allergen, it's very rare to cure the, there's radiation and not applicable in halal. The water, it will be ambient temperature, also will multiply the severity by the probability and the outcome will be not significant but the physical hazard will be due to the water pollution and the control will be the sorting of the orange and approved supplier and filtration of the water. Also the chemical will be uh, due to the excess chlorine uh, concentration. Also the control will be water microbiology and chemical control of the water and the uh, chemical control program of all the company. The biological hazard, the result will be 5 multiplied by 3, it will be 15, so there is a biological hazard from the water due to the water pollution, so the control will be either pasteurization or water microbiology. All this I'm making you uh, like brainstorming and how to train yourself to have this all uh, uh, risk assessment for the raw materials. We are having also the score of the spore forming will be the same thing. The allergen will be not applicable because water is not allergen ingredient and the radiation also would be very rare and not applicable. Also the halal uh, hazard will be also very rare to occur. Now we are still having the air. The air also physical hazard according to air pollution. We will have the control measure will be air system filtration and microbiological test for the air. The chemical hazard will be also not significant. The biological hazard not significant, but maybe due to the air pollution. So there must be control mechanism. And also the biological spore forming, the same uh, cause. The allergen is not applicable for the air. The radiation is not applicable to for the air and the halal is not applicable to. Now I have done all the raw materials. We have done the orange, the water and the air. And now I'll go to the packaging material or the bottles itself. So we'll train ourselves how to make a risk assessment for the product contact materials hazard risk assessment. The same table with the same elements. That temperature maybe according to the risk assessment or uh, according to the nature of the uh, product you are producing it depends on the temperature the risk assessment will be severity multiplied by the probability and not significant but the physical hazard will be due to bad storage and distribution and the control mechanism of these bottles to be from approved supplier and visual inspection due to, uh, during the receiving of the bottles the, the chemicals also will be uh, not risky but uh, due to the bad storage but the control that we can improve that it's from food grade origin of the bottles because it's the food the contact so it must be food grade or sterile uh, biological also the same it must be from approved supplier and sterile and there is no any bad odor during the receiving of the the spore forming the same thing the allergen it's not applicable for the packaging material and the radiation too and the halal too either if there is any experience from the HACCP team have mentioned that maybe some uh, countries have radiation accidents and we are importing from it uh, packaging materials or they are uh, using non-food grade elements in it or they are using non-halal uh, ingredients in producing or our uh, bottles. Today we have trained ourselves how to make the orange hazard risk assessment, the water hazard risk assessment and the product contact materials hazard risk assessment good luck for you all and in the upcoming video i will give you uh, some other examples of the allergen and if it is halal or not watch me on simply for the youtube channel and thank you for all of you and good luck for all of you goodbye
Hello everybody again on Simply for the